What keeps people from moving to Indianapolis and central Indiana? Hi, it's Bob Morris with Top Choice Real Estate giving you the word on the street talking Indiana real estate. Here's six reasons I've been told why people decide not to move to Indianapolis. Number one is the weather. Hey, we're not Los Angeles. It's not mild here year round. Nor are we Portland. It's not dark and dreary and rainy all the time. We're not Minnesota or the Dakotas either. I mean, we don't go to 20 and 40 degrees below zero. We have all four seasons. So we have warm to hot summers that get into the 90s. We have mild winters. Um, I usually wear a fleece every day. It's just not cold and that much snow. And hopefully we have very pleasant springs and falls. Heck, uh, I started boating this year in April and uh, it's gonna hit 90 this weekend. It's 73 right now. And uh, we'll have the boat on the water and it's the last day of August. It'll be the first day of September. We do have all four seasons and uh, you have to be geared to that. Uh, that's something that you have to enjoy or at least be able to tolerate. Thinking about relocating to central Indiana in the Indianapolis area? Well, I've got just the thing for you. My team and I have actually taken the time to create the ultimate relocation guide, which is meant to save you hours of research. And I've linked it down below. From top employers, the best hospitals, and a boatload of other things you need to know before making the move. The best part, the guide is 100% free. That's right, you heard me right, 100% free. Just click the link in the description or the top pinned comment. I hope that helps. Number two, Indianapolis and central Indiana is not as affordable as it used to be. It wasn't that long ago that you could buy the medium priced house for $125,000, but that's just not the case anymore. This past month, the median average price was $300,000. So we're not San Francisco where a fixer upper can cost seven figures, but we're not as affordable as we used to. I had a call this morning from a client and she was asking, kind of humorously almost, or tongue in cheek, that she was looking for a property to fix up and rent in the sixty dollars to $80,000 price range. She was into doing some light rehab, but she wasn't gutting the place and putting 200000 into it. Surprisingly, I was able to come up with almost two dozen properties in that price range. And you know, in the mix, there's probably gonna be one or two that just might do the job. Again, we're not as affordable as we used to be, but we're not seven figures for everything either. Number three is traffic. I grew up in the Chicago suburbs, so I knew traffic. And then I went to Indiana University and I got accustomed to being able to move around town in like 10 minutes. It was awesome. So I never moved back. Traffic has changed here. What used to take 35 minutes probably takes about 50 now. So we're not LA where you might sit in traffic for two or three hours in the middle of an afternoon. There's more traffic than there used to be, yes, but I'm still not moving back to Chicago. Number four is the food scene. Coming from Chicago where there was just a large variety of great ethnic restaurants, and especially Italian restaurants. Heck, my neighbors were right off the boat and Sunday dinner was just, oh my God. So I got spoiled. And then back in college, nobody even bothered to drive to Indy for food. The college town was better. Heck, when they got a TGI Fridays here in Indianapolis, everybody thought they were uptown. But that's all changed. There's now a pretty vibrant food scene. We don't have multiple options like, say, eight different Thai restaurants on the east side or whatever. But generally, you can find what your appetite is begging for. Number five is the entertainment scene. It's another thing we never left the college town for. India is not New York, nor is it LA. It's not even Miami or Chicago. There's plenty of options. But between the major venues, we've long been known as the amateur sports capital of the nation. And we've got pro teams. You've got the uh, Indianapolis Colts football team. We've got the NBA Pacers. We've got the minor league Indianapolis Indians baseball team, which is a really fun night out. And we've got the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. When it comes to motorsports, we are big league. We are the whole enchilada. 
Okay, when it comes to the music scene, we don't have the four-day festivals with dozens of big headliners, but we're a stop for most of the major acts. When it comes to plays and dance troops and other traveling acts, again, we're not New York with, you know, month-long play dates, but uh, you do get a good variety, and if you seize the moment when they are here, you can see an awful lot of good events. Hey, and if all else fails, Cincinnati and Louisville are two hours away and Chicago is just three. Number six is outdoors activities. I'm an outdoors type of guy. I boat, fish, hike, I do all that stuff and I do it all the time and I do it year round. When I moved from Colorado, people thought I was nuts. I mean, it was like a perfect fit. They call me the mountain man. And this is not Colorado, it just isn't. You don't ski in the morning and then play golf in the afternoon. There are no mountains here. There's Brown County State Park with its uh, hiking trails and horseback riding and what have you, but it is not the mountain. There are no monstrous lakes. There's no six lakes within a half hour. There's maybe uh, a dozen decent sized lakes within a two hour drive. And when it comes to fishing, hey, this is not Minnesota. There's a reason I go to Minnesota and Canada every summer. But I do get on the water, and I'm able to get on the water. Heck, we were on the water last January one day. Think about that. Okay, that's six reasons people choose not to move to Indianapolis. And in this video, I've turned over the rocks and shed some light on those six reasons. After all, that's what this channel is all about, being honest and giving you the information you need to improve your future. If you're thinking about moving to Indianapolis and central Indiana, by all means, hit the subscribe button and then tune in to get the word on the street talking Indiana real estate. Here at Top Choice, we can help you with a new home. We can help you with land or a building lot, even a commercial building or investment property. And remember, I work harder to make good things happen. Make it a great day now.